Hi, this is Karthik from Design School by WP Algorithm. And in this video, we're going to discuss one of the latest features or one of the newest features in Elementor version 3.2. Now, this feature is not fully implemented, but this is an exciting development. And the feature I'm talking about in 3.2 is custom breakpoints. We've already done custom breakpoints using custom CSS. You can search the channel for custom CSS and you'll find out. But in Elementor 3.2, they've laid the foundation for custom breakpoints. So when you click on the responsive mode, you don't see three icons. Rather, you see the three icons onto the top center of the screen. This is the desktop mode. This is the tablet mode. And this is the mobile mode or the mobile device mode. Now, with each of the modes selected, you can simply click and drag the handle to adjust the width. And you can see the width in exact pixels displayed over here. So if I shrink it down or if I stretch it up, you can see the width of the mobile device that I'm trying to achieve. And you can also see the preview of each of your design elements at various widths. So that is really great. And notice when I'm in tablet or when I'm in mobile mode, I cannot stretch beyond a point. That's because there's no point in having a tablet breakpoint for mobile devices. Similarly, for tablet devices, you can also stretch and shrink both the width and also the height. So you can click the bottom handle and drag it above or drag it below. Do the same with the side handle. So stretch it or shrink it. You can also enter your custom width over here. And the preview is adjusted to that width. They haven't implemented custom breakpoints yet, but the way it will work is that you can simply enter the width you want or you can simply drag the width or see where your design breaks and simply click to add a breakpoint. Maybe at that width, you can hide few elements by going to responsive mode and doing stuff like that. So I think that's the way they're going to add custom breakpoints. Maybe there'll be just a plus button at a particular width rather than the standard width. So if I stretch it to a particular width, maybe I can simply click the plus button to add the custom breakpoint. And I can see all my custom breakpoints in tablet mode. And for mobile mode, I can add various custom breakpoints. And at each of the breakpoints, I think they'll let us adjust individual properties, thereby giving us more flexibility. Now, this is a feature that I'm really excited about in Elementor version 3.2. Let's see how it plays out. I'm pretty excited about this. No need to write custom CSS for custom breakpoints. That's a great thing coming to Elementor. We'll be discussing all other Elementor features or Elementor 3.2 features in other videos. Stay tuned for that. That's it for now. See you in the next one. Until then, peace.